Well, the Progress Singapore Party joins a growing list of opposition parties here. And while many parties have contested in the 15 general elections here since 1955, only some of them remain active. Let's take a look at when these existing parties were formed over the years. The People's Action Party was established in 1954. It actually started life as an opposition party in the first Legislative Assembly election of 1955. The Workers' Party was born not long after and would later become Singapore's main opposition party. Other parties were formed during the 1960s, but they have since disbanded. From the 1970s onwards came more opposition parties, all seven years apart from each other. The Democratic Progressive Party, Singapore Democratic Party, National Solidarity Party, Singapore People's Party, Singapore Democratic Alliance and the Reform Party. And in the past five years, several more opposition parties were formed in quick succession. First of these was Singaporeans First. A year later, the People's Power Party started its engines less than four months before polling day. That's not unheard of. The SDP and SDA too started just months before general elections. The latest parties in the opposition camp are People's Voice and the Progress Singapore Party. They have yet to contest their first election. We're joined by political analyst, Associate Professor Eugene Tan. Eugene, you've seen sort of the, the broad trends um, in terms of the formation of those opposition parties. Anything in particular stands out to you? We're seeing a, an opposition landscape which is becoming a lot more fragmented. Um, so we, we, we're seeing more and more parties. Uh, there hasn't been that consolidation. Uh, but certainly when you look at the timelines, you know, there's a tendency for parties to be formed. Uh, prior to a general election. Right? So this could be anything from a couple of months to, to a year or two. Uh, and I think that's when you know, people who want to contest in elections think about which political vehicle uh, they will want to be on. Uh, and sometimes they may not be able to get onto a, the, the, the slate of candidates for, for, for a party or they think their chances are not good. And that's when they may decide that you know, the, an alternative would be to form um, their own party. But I think it also reflects um, you know, very contrasting ideas about how to compete, you know, against the, the dominant uh, ruling People's Action Party. Uh, and, and that's when you, I think that's where the differences in terms of strategies, uh, in terms of uh, party platforms, in terms of how they could share their resources, or even something as mundane as who to contest where, which party to contest where, um, all this come, come into, in, into the picture. Uh, and we then have the sort of landscape that we see today. It is very crowded, you know, and, and, and that's going to give rise to a lot of issues when, when the elections do come round. Eugene, you've pointed out there this timeline uh, as to what we're seeing with the formation of political parties, but have times changed at all from what we've seen years ago in terms of the factors that drive the formation of these parties? My own sense is the factors haven't really changed much. You know, it's, it's really the differences that I've pointed out. Right? So if, if I can't uh, get into a party of, of my choice um, and I find no other suitable platform, then perhaps one alternative would be for me to set up my, my own platform. So you have within the opposition landscape, um, you know, in, 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 as it is in many other uh, jurisdictions, you know, this idea of trying to manage the, the, the egos of people who believe that they have a role to play in, in, in the political life of a country. Um, that's not a criticism. I, I think you need politicians you know, who believe that they have a vision and want to share. Um, but in a very small country like Singapore, uh, and, you, and you're competing against the People's Action Party, which is in power since 1959, they have never lost more than 8% of the, of the elected seats in any election, you need a more unifying strategy. Mm -hmm. And so it is, it is interesting to, to note that Dr. Ch Dr. Tan, in, in his press conference today, uh, spoke about his party as a unifying alternative, mm. right? So it's not, going to, it's not meant to fragment, uh, and he doesn't put himself as an opposition figure. Right? Right, so, so in a way, straddling between the ruling party and the opposition. Yeah,